Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to test and diagnose the map sensor on your engine when you have any fault code on it. So basically, I will show you how to test the map sensor with the scan tool. If you do have the scan tool, if you don't, I'm gonna show you how to test it with the multimeter. I will show the component location and I will explain the wind diagram and all the wires on the sensor as well. Okay, first of all, let's have a look at the scan tool, see how we can use the live dot on the scan tool to diagnose the uh, map sensor. Before starting to do the diagnostic, if you haven't subscribed the channel, please make sure you subscribe the channel for supporting us and for receiving the notification when we upload new diagnostic videos. All right, I have connected my scan tool right now. Ignition switch is on. You see all the available systems here. I'm going to go for engine. So right here, we need to go for the data stream. And we need to scroll down to find the proper items for the map sensor. So we need the actual engine speed. So we have the intake manifold pressure and this one for the map signal output. Just select these three. Okay, so we have the information right here. As you see, engine is not running. Of course, engine is not generating any negative pressure for us because engine is off right now. And we have just normal ambient pressure, uh, which is detected by the map sensor and is generating 4 volt right now. But what are our bases to judge to say if the map sensor is working properly or not? Of course, our source is the workshop manual. We need to have a look at the specification on the workshop manual. And what you see on the screen right now and this is actually the table of a specification for the map sensor for this car uh, from the workshop manual. Right now we have the ambient pressure and the voltage is supposed to be about 4 volts, which is exactly what we are getting here. And if we start up the engine, of course, the pressure is going to change because engine will generate the negative pressure. As you see on the table, when pressure detected by the map sensor drops, the output voltage should be dropping as well. So I'm going to start up the engine and see what's going to happen to the output voltage. Okay, so engine is running at this RPM. So RPM is going to the idle RPM very soon because engine is cold right now. That's why we have uh, the RPM a little high. And as you see, the pressure that MAP sensor is detecting for us is something around 50 right now but rpm is dropping so this pressure is changing as well and as you see the voltage is correlated to the pressure so basically you need to see this correlation when pressure is dropping the output voltage should be dropping as well all right so this confirms that the map sensor is functioning properly the higher the pressure the higher the voltage but if pressure drops the voltage should be dropping as well this is one example of having a faulty map sensor as you see engine is not running but map sensor is actually measuring this pressure if you guys remember when i connected my scan tool before starting the engine the pressure that i was reading was 100 kpa but right now engine is not running and it's just reading 57 kpa and instead of generating 4 volt map sensor is generating 2.2 volt so this shows that map sensor is faulty and we need to go to the next step for diagnostic we're going to have a look at the wiring first to see what wires are actually on the map sensor and what we can do for inspecting them all right let's have a look at the wiring diagram this is the wiring diagram for the map sensor on this car and as you see map sensor is connected to the ecm this is engine control module map sensor is connected to the ECM with four wires but not all these four wires are for the map sensor itself because normally on the map sensor on this car we have intake air temperature as well so basically two sensors are integrated we have the map sensor and we have intake air temperature sensor as well just right here so right here this is the map sensor power supply this brings the 5 volt supply from the ECM to the map sensor. So this is actually one of the first checkpoints. We should be able to read 5 volt when ignition switch is on. So this wire is the output signal from the map sensor. So whatever voltage map sensor is generating is going to go from here to ECM. So it means when ignition switch is on, 
if you remember, we measured four volt output signal from here. So it means when ignition switch is on, we can just back prop here and measure that four volt over there. Okay. And the last one is the sensor ground. So this ground is for both for intake air temperature sensor and for the map sensor. So for the map sensor, we need to focus on this on this blue wire, pink wire, and orange. We don't, we don't need to do anything on this yellow wire because this is actually the signal for intake air temperature. We just need to focus on these three wires. All right, let's locate the map sensor. I have removed some part of the intake system to locate the map sensor easier. So here's the throttle body. And right after the throttle body, this is your map sensor. So you see the map sensor is located right after the throttle body on the intake manifold. And here is the sensor connector. As you see, we have four wires. As you see the wind diagram right now, again on the screen, the blue one is the power supply. That pink wire is the output signal. And that orange number four on the far right, that's the sensor ground. So we need to focus on them to perform the diagnostic. So the first thing I will do is to back prop the sensor power supply because we're gonna make sure if the sensor is receiving the power supply in case of having any fault. All right, this is how we can check the sensor power supply uh, on, the, on the map sensor connector. So basically we can disconnect the sensor connector. All right, on the sensor connector, we need to go for the blue wire, pin number two, which is just right here. I'm gonna back prop it. And then you need to grab a multimeter and check the sensor power supply using a multimeter when ignition switches on. So here is a multimeter. I'm gonna select voltage. I have two props. This one goes on the sensor and this one goes on a good ground. All right, so as you see, I'm actually measuring the five volt on the sensor power supply, which confirms that sensor is receiving the power supply just fine. And if you are not measuring five volt, it means the wire between the sensor and ECM must be inspected. Of course, before starting to do any sort of wiring inspection, you need to focus on the connector itself because sometimes uh, moisture or dirt can get into the connector, which can cause exactly the same problem. So that's going to be your first step uh, anytime. So this is the power supply. We have another step on the workshop manual suggesting to check the voltage on the sensor signal as well when sensor is when sensor connector is disconnected so you remember when sensor connector is connected sensor is going to give us different different range of voltage based on the pressure inside the intake manifold but right now that sensor connector is disconnected we should be able to read 5 volt on the sensor output signal i'm going to change this back prop from pin number 2 to pin number 1 which is this pink wire Okay, just like this. And then I check the voltage again. All good. Sensor is, re sensor is giving us almost five volt when sensor connector is disconnected. This confirms that the signal wire is connected to the ECM with no problem. So if you are not getting any voltage right here, it means the sensor signal wire uh, might be shorted or there might be some open circuit on the wire itself. But if I leave the back prop right here and connect the sensor connector, I should be able to read the real value on the sensor output signal, exactly like what we did on the scan tool. So this is, so this is your step when you don't have the scan tool, you need to read the output voltage on the sensor itself. So I'm gonna leave the back prop there and I connect the sensor connector. So I know it's really hard to see down there, but because we don't have any room to, put the, to set the camera, it's just trying to do my best. Now I'm going to read the sensor output voltage when ignition switch is on and sensor connector is connected. All good. You see, we are reading 4 volt. This is exactly what sensor is supposed to give us. 4 volt when engine is off from the map sensor is just fine. But right now we need to start the engine to see if the voltage drops to what actually we were getting on the scan tool because when engine is started the pressure inside the intake manifold should drop and of course the output voltage of the sensor should drop as well let's have a look at the sensor output voltage when i start up the engine just make sure all the wires are away from the rotating component
All right. So as you see, voltage already dropped to 1.5 because the pressure inside the intake manifold already dropped. So this confirms that MAP sensor is functioning properly because it gave us high voltage, higher voltage, four volts when engine was off and when engine is started, is giving us 1.5, 1.6, which confirms the sensor is functioning because we are reading, because right now we are reading the sensor output voltage right on the sensor connector. If you are reading the value properly on the sensor, but your scan tool tells you something different, it means the problem could be from the wiring in between, between the sensor and ECM or ECM itself. Because when you are reading a value with your scan tool, you are actually reading the information from the ECM. If ECM shows you something different, but the value on the sensor is okay, is exactly within the range, the problem could be the wiring between the sensor and ECM or ECM itself. So you need to focus on that side. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos.